Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Hello friends. In this video we will discuss the steel structure subject. Multiple choice questions with answers and with details. Maximum slenderness ratio of a compression member which carry loads resulting from wind or seismic forces only, is 250. Note, the slenderness ratio is the ratio of effective length of the column to its least radius of gyration. The lateral system used in built-up columns, to carry the transverse shear force, is lacing, batten plates, perforated plates, any of these. You can see the lacing and battening in the given diagram. Which of the following statement is correct? A tubular section is most economical section for column free to buckle in any direction. The radius of gyration for the tubular section in all directions remains same. The solid round bar is less economical than the tubular section. All of the above statements are correct. Allowable working stress for rolled steel beam section compression members may be assumed as 100 Newton per millimeter square. The net area of a round bar which resists the tension is the area of cross section at the root of the thread. A joint in the length of a column is known as column splice. You can easily see the column splice in given diagram. A structural member subjected to tensile force in the direction parallel to its longitudinal axis, is called A tension member A tie member A tie Any of these are the structural member subjected to tensile force. A tension member subjected to axial tension is designed on the basis of its net sectional area. Net sectional area of a tension member is equal to, none of these option is right. In the roof trusses, the horizontal beams spanning between the two adjacent trusses are known as purlins. You can see the purlins in the given diagram. Any major beam in a structure is known as a girder. The beam supporting stair steps are called as stringer. When the load does not pass through the shear center of the beam, it produces torsional moment along with the bending moment. When the load on a simply supported beam is acting downward, the bending stress is tensile below the neutral axis. For a beam in equilibrium, the moment of resistance equal to the bending moment at the section. The bending stress in a beam at neutral axis is zero. The average shear stress for rolled beams is calculated by dividing the shear force at the cross section by the gross section of web. The maximum deflection, for a simply supported beam, should not exceed 1 slash 325 of span. The large deflection in beam may result in cracking of ceiling plaster. Indicate the lack of rigidity may cause the distortions in the connections. All of the above will result due to large deflection in beam. The deflection of beam may be decreased by increasing the depth of beam. The torsional restraint can be provided by providing web or flange cleats in the end connections. Bearing stiffeners acting in conjunction with the bearing of the beam. External support to the end of the compression flange. All of the above can be provided for torsional restraint. The effective length, L, 
four cantilever beams built in at the support with projecting length L and free at the end is equal to its 0.85 times its length. The allowable bearing stress for rolled steel beams is 189 newton per millimeter square. In the riveted built-up beams, as allowance of about 10% of the area of cover plates is added to the calculated area. The load on a lintel is considered as uniformly distributed load, if the masonry above the lintel is up to a height of 1.25 times the effective span. An out-of-plane web distortion is known as Web buckling Vertical web buckling Column buckling All of these are known as an out-of-plane web distortion. When the load is acting downward in a simply supported beam, the bending stress is Maximum at the extreme fiber Compressive above the neutral axis Both, A, and, B In designing unstiffened seated connections, the length of seating angle is assumed to be equal to The width of flange of the beam the unstiffened seated connections are used to transmit end reaction of beam up to 150 kN. Web crippling occurs due to failure of web under concentrated load. A column splice is used to increase the length of column, it is true that a column splice is used to increase the length of the column. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics